12 noon in the east. Take a look here. We're positive across the board. NASDAQ, the big winner thus far, trying to get to a 1% gain right now, 106 and a half, 12,537. Yields on the 10 year, watching those obviously with Jackson Hole going on, got as high as almost 313, dropped down to 308. That's where we currently are now. Uh, Kerry, we try to game out what these next couple of days are really going to mean uh, to the markets. How much hawkishness? is priced in, do you think? 75? Is that priced in? I don't think so. Do you? I think it is. I think the market thinks we're going to have the 75. Uh, we're having a lot of confusion in the market. We opened, the market went up to a percent higher than it's come back in, and we could trade all around today because people are unclear. Uh, 75 is what we expect. Uh, we would also expect there to be some chatter from the Fed um, from the Fed chair, particularly about how they're seeing some signs. The signs, if he says that they're signs of inflation easing, but they need to hike 75, that would be much, uh, m much anticipated in a positive way for the market if he suggests that there are very few signs that they're seeing inflation ease, that would be a big negative, and I think that the market would react poorly to that. Okay. What, what do you think? Do you feel like... I mean, what do, you, what do you think the best outcome would be uh, for the stock market over the next 48 hours? That's a good question. Probably, probably 75 or the idea that 75 is coming, but that's it. And from there, things start to really mediate and get better, moderate, I should say, yeah. and get better. So 75 oh. in September, you think the market would be fine with that? I think so, because don't forget, it's all about the messaging. Right. And that's what we've been getting today from Bostick and George. It's all about the messaging. It's about the preparation. It's about getting us ready for the news. And this is what Jerome Powell does does best, I think, is he prepares us emotionally. He prepares us to to receive the news, to to digest it comfortably, confidently in advance of the actual number coming out. But I think that what everyone wants as portfolio managers is like, let's just get it over with. Yeah. Let's just be done. You know, let's stop guessing. And so if it is 75, we know that we're really closer to the end. Let me ask you this. What if it's <clears throat> wishful thinking to think that we're going to get such specificity, that we're going to even have an idea mm -hmm. of whether it's going to be 50 or 75? There are suggestions out there that this is not really the venue that he's going to do that, that it's going to be a bigger picture view of the path forward for rates rather than meeting by meeting by meeting. And I think that's okay too, because what they're really saying right now, what Bostick said today is, look, 50 to 75 is likely, but there's a lot of data that's going to be coming out between now and then, and we're going to adjust to the data. And that's what Powell has said all along. He said, we're data dependent, we're gonna act as appropriate, we're gonna remain flexible. So I think, you know, we all want all the answers now, not just in investing, but in life. Everyone wants to know everything right away. But that's okay. It's only three, what, three and a half, four weeks away. We can live with that as long as things don't get too much worse or too much crazier. Um, I think there's an interesting cross, too, between if you're a trader, how you're digesting this, and if you're a portfolio manager. For me as a portfolio manager, the truth is I don't really care which it is, right? It doesn't actually have an impact on the businesses of the companies in my portfolio that I manage. If you're a trader and you have a much shorter time frame, then you have a much bigger impact and a much bigger bigger uh, risk risk for what goes All on. All right. So Weiss, I mean, you've been, you know, you've been a pretty ample trader of late, right? In and out of some positions. So what for you is the perfect scenario uh, for the market? And let me remind everybody as well that we're less than two hours from Leesman with Bullard, which, you know, you never know what, what he's going to say. So you got to pay close attention to that. There he is, James Bullard, the St. Louis Fed president, is going to be with Steve in a, in a couple hours time, a little less than that now. Uh, so what is the best outcome? for the stock market, Weiss? You know, it, 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 it's, it's a great question, but I just have a good answer. I mean, when any data point comes out, you know, I think the best are 50-50 in terms of what the market reaction is. Because even though the market uh, is pricing 50 to 75, when it actually happens, and when the commentary around it happens, that's when you really don't know what the, what the result's going to be in the market. So, so for me, I don't think 75 bips would be good. I, I think tomorrow Powell's, uh, you know, Powell's already had all the other Fed governors out here come, come out as hawkish as they could possibly be, including today. Sure, there have been some glimmers of hope, like saying, hey, let's see what happens after September and we'll assess. And that's what the market's hanging on to because it's always optimistic. So 
Look, I don't think this is going to be the Powell speech. We're saying we're dying on the hill. We're going to keep going, you know, pedal to the metal and doing 75 each meeting. I mean, you've had 86 Fed tightenings over, you know, modern history, and 75 of them have been below 50 bips. Uh, so to think you'll get another 75, I don't think you will. I think if you get 50, that the market will read that right, and that's, that will drive the market higher, with the caveat being that, uh, that maybe the market's looking for 75 to be an end. I think that's sort of looking at it backwards. If they're saying 75, it's saying it's a real, real problem. Yeah. So, so I don't see that. So, we, so come back to the answer to your question with the caveat that I don't know. 50 would be good with not much more that's being said that, than what has been said already by Powell and others. Well,